How do you compare data using a bar graph? How many more campers wanted to fish than play baseball? In this lesson, you will learn how to compare data by using a bar graph. Let's review. A bar graph has axes. There's the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. Data from a table can be shown in a graph. Here, the table is showing the number of pet store animals. Fish, dog, rabbit, bird. On the horizontal axis, we can label the number of animals. And on the vertical axis, we could label the type of pets. And then, of course, we've learned how to insert the bars to match the information in the table. A common misunderstanding when comparing information on a bar graph is thinking that we add when asked how many more. For example, how many more campers wanted to fish than play baseball? A misunderstanding would be to add the number of campers that wanted to fish with the number of campers that wanted to play baseball. That would give me an answer of four. But that's not correct, because if only three people wanted to fish and only one person wanted to play baseball, it wouldn't make sense that four more people wanted to fish than play baseball. The first thing you need to do is identify what the problem is asking. So let's think about what the question was asking. How many more campers wanted to fish than play baseball? I look at my bar graph to determine that three campers wanted to fish. Looking at my bar graph, I see that one camper wanted to play baseball. How many more is my clue? How many numbers would I have to jump to get from the number of children or campers that wanted to play baseball to the number of campers that wanted to go fishing? One, two. So I'd have to do two jumps to get to that number. So two more campers wanted to fish, then play baseball. How many fewer campers wanted to catch butterflies than hike? Well, looking at my bar graph here, I see that four campers wanted to catch butterflies and six campers wanted to hike. So here I would have to go from the number of people that wanted to hike and go back to the number of people that wanted to catch butterflies. So to get from six to four, I go back two. That's the same as saying six minus four equals two. So two fewer campers wanted to catch butterflies than hike. In this lesson, you have learned how to compare data by using a bar graph.